Um, yes, good morning, Brother Conkley. Edward Sell. You know, this, this country is truly disturbing. You know, uh, presently I'm at the junction of um, Howell Road and Christie Avenue. Um, I read a couple of days ago, we woke up to the sight of a car stripped and packed with garbage and dumped on the side of the road. Now that car has been here now, either from the, either from the over the weekend or, or late last weekend, last week. Um, and that car has been there, and we've I've watched to see who is gonna move to move that car. This car is a hazard to the health and well-being of the people traversing the road. I witnessed the other morning, about a couple of days ago, the ministry. I don't know if it's environment or health, but a, a, a small um, those um, wagon, the you know, SUV with a government plate on it. I went this one them come there the other morning and put us like a stick on the car. They just look at the car, and then they left the car there. Now people traverse this road every day, every night, all day and all night. What are the chances now of somebody slamming head on into that abandoned car side of the road? And it's full with garbage. You know, I would think that the environment minister would move the dug on car and, and, and seek to find who it belongs to later and charge them. But this is a car with no wheels, no windshield, no hood. The car has been totally stripped and it's full of garbage and it's beside the main highway. How could our ministry just look at the car and leave it there? This is the type of thing that is so discouraging and disgraceful and it's honorable from these ministries. And I would pray to God that somebody come and immediately move that car from side the road.